Welcome back to the Chat Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from Griffin Mine. Like I said, I like, I love his channel. I've been watching it for a little bit too. I haven't really featured his channel, so I wanted to feature it today. And uh, this is why Passport Bros are leaving the West. Please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. She went to the wrong bathroom. <laughs> Yo, yikes. Stop thirsting, man. God dang. Instant karma for the instant symphony. Get him out of here. I was wondering why he's denying her. Oh. Oh. Telling you, man, when you're with the wife or you're with your girlfriend, other girls just start sipping for you and start paying you attention. It's crazy. Like, they just really want to sabotage other women. Or you. <laughs> Seemed like everything was going okay in the beginning, but in the end, trouble. I'm a yep. mm -mm kind of worker. I make that kind of content. And I get asked all the time, oh my god, aren't you worried about finding a boyfriend, a husband? Because the job that you do, no one's going to want to date you. I don't care. <laughs> if you do not care about attracting another person into your life, that's your prerogative. You do you. This goes mm -hmm. for men and for women. If you are not putting in any effort whatsoever to become more attractive to the opposite gender, don't be surprised when you have bad relationships and no one wants to keep you around. With men... You know, I get some comments there like, no, never do anything to impress a woman or anything like that. I'm like, no, there's some things you do have to do. There's ba basic levels of grooming yourself, you know, at least smelling decent, you know, with some decent manners. <laughs> Those are still required. Who are the bag with men who are ambitious, with men who are purpose and goal driven, productive, competitive, successful men? They're not going to come home and negotiate power with you. I lead, you follow. I have all the responsibility. I make a world to where you can sit down and I take care of everything, but you have to be under my authority. And what that means is you have to trust in the fact that I know what I'm doing to where I'm not going to have you nag me 50 million, 50 11 million times. A high value woman is attractive. A piece. She has a comforting character. She's discerning and disciplined. She's enthusiastic and exuberant. She's loyal and liberated. That's the definition of a high value one. How old are you? I'm 31. Okay. Do you think dating gets easier for you as you age? Oh my god, no. Actually, no. It seems the opposite. In high school, it was so easy. Dude, when you get older and you move to a new town or wherever and the only people you see is at work and the grocery store, you're like, yeah. I don't meet people. How do you feel about for marriage yes but if you're in a relationship for me at least okay. i'm at a stage now where i want and it says that now but i'm sure in those 20s when it was easy uh, i don't think there was many relationships going on more commitment and someone serious rather than just someone just gonna hit it and quit it so, not a fan of that anymore this is something oh, i think anymore, a lot of women okay. just don't realize today that eventually their options just completely run out right mm -hmm. out of the gate when women start to date they immediately have a ton of options and then as they get older those options dwindle and this is something you'll see pretty often when people come from a position of power. You'll see this with monopolies, you'll see this in business, empires, athletes. When someone comes from a position of power, they think they will always have that power. This is not true. These things happen in cycles. No one will be the top dog forever. That's just the way the world works. It's what you do with that power while you have it that will define you. <laughs> I need to write something down. If your average man is treated better by women overseas, why do men prefer to stay here and play the game when the odds are so heavily stacked against them? Well, I think it's because it's what they know. And the thing that the United States has going for it is that the money's all here. Yep. So we all have to make a living and support ourselves and our lifestyles. So that's the reason because you end up missing our culture we grew up in when you live in another country. But I'll tell you what such a different feeling when you're in another country how great you get treated as a man humans this is why we always suggest to you guys you know, just travel just see the world out there don't do it just for women you know go and experience how you get treated as you know a man and how just everything is so much easier and simpler in those countries
today are exceptionally lazy and sedated. So even if they want to leave and find a better woman elsewhere, you're too lazy to do anything about it and you just sit there, never taking action to do anything to improve their lives. This is why most men will stay broke and miserable. That's why I'm happy every time someone says, I got my passport, I'm getting my passport. I'm like, all right, I'm excited. At least you've gone through those steps. Now you got the passport, now level up, at least travel a little bit. You know, you don't have to fully save money to travel right away. Just travel, look at, you know, to some Southeast Asian countries, to South American countries, and just experience at least like a week's worth, two weeks worth, vacations worth of uh, another country and uh, see how you like it. Some people actually don't. At this, I do have to give a caveat. Not everybody likes the lifestyle in those countries. You know, even if you might like the women there, you might not like the lifestyle. That might not be for you. So. Finn, Logan, what the f is wrong with you? Look, she's just a friend. She, she's just a friend. That doesn't make any. Then why are you fighting her? <laughs> she's cold. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, doesn't want to do wifey duties. So the huh? whole concept of this is she wants to get married and then she realizes all of the wifely duties that she's going to have to do mm -hmm. and then she doesn't want to get married. So she wants to be a bride, but she doesn't want to be a wife. Red flag, dude. You Pretty much modern women. Much. Beautiful, but when I hang out with younger guys, there's something missing. They're visually nice to like take in through my eyeballs, but they just don't have the like weight that a man who's been through it. I, I thought of this the other day. It was like, it's like I'm attracted to the fact that a man in my age range is a little bit dead inside. And I find that very sexy <laughs> because if you've really lived your life, even if you've had a fantastic life, then you've had your heart broken. You've dealt with health stuff. You've been through the ups and downs financially. You've had your heart crushed once, if not twice. You've, you've aging parents. I mean, you've been through life and that's sexy. This is true. Women in general will find an older man more attractive because of the life experience. Being that battle hard, gristled man put through the ringer of life. And if you've done a good job as a man, as you get older, your confidence and your competence will skyrocket. Women always Damn want right. the man that's better than them in everything. And it's hard for her to look up to you when you're beneath her. So as women age and they get all these life experiences, their dating pool starts to shrink more and more and more. But men, however, don't have this problem. Most men would pick the hot 20 year old that has no life experience whatsoever. Young men listen to what women say, smart men mm -hmm. watch what women do. Actions are the only true indicator of what women actually want. And it cannot be idealistic when it comes to female nature otherwise you will get burned you have to deal with raw half truth whether you like it or not and i also want to talk about why this mindset that so many western women have is actually extremely problematic yep. because not only are you putting down the men who are going overseas with pure intentions you're also putting down the woman from these other countries solely off of the fact that they were not brought up in a western culture because you're calling them uneducated you're calling them poor, you're calling them weak, you're calling them vulnerable. You're creating a superiority complex where you are at the top and women from all these other countries are at the bottom. Now, let me tell you something. If you were really superior, the men would not be leaving Ooh. and you would not be single. Get dunked on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we get some air horns in the chat, please? Thank you. Women that hate on passport bros, a lot of the times it seems like they see foreign women as lesser women, lesser Correct. than their Western counterparts. They come from a poorer country and they see them as uneducated. They're not real women because they're not an independent boss queen like me. It's a completely ignorant belief to have. A lot of Western women speak multiple languages. They are educated and they know their role in society. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's not Yalla come to Dubai anymore. It's more like Malelo, come to Thailand. <laughs> Time to pack your things, boys. <laughs> These keys are too small, I can't do this. Maybe your fingers are too fat. Ooh. Maybe you're too fat. Ooh. -hoo. <laughs> Ed. Oh, no. <laughs> Men with no hopes. Where are you? What are you doing? 
They're on their Busy purpose, on my dude. Grind. Grinding through their 20s, getting their money up, getting their muscles up, all this stuff. Good job, my bros. Don't focus on the Focus on the purpose. My man, I want to see a, a, a million TikToks exactly like this, okay? <laughs> Hope you guys like that, Chow. You know, Griffin, mine. You know, shout outs to him. He's been doing, you know, the men's work for a while now, and he's he's growing. He's he hit 100k. He's he's going for that million, and uh, help the man out and give him some subs. Please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that, and I'll uh, catch you guys next time. It's Chow time.